Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna cover how I pass the marketing associate exam. And I have a special announcement that we have released our marketing associate prep course. It should hopefully be available on Udemy Business at some point. I know that some people have that access through their company or through their library or through previous educational institutions like colleges or universities. Uh, so if you have that, I'm hoping to have that available soon. I don't know when, it's not up to me. It's up to their review system. As well that it is available on salesforceofskill.com. Of course, all of our courses are going to be available there, link in the description. There are a few things I wanna cover before I go into how I passed. I find that giving you background on me, on my circumstances when I took the exam, on what I used that helped me pass the exam is extremely beneficial and helpful to you. So then you can understand where you're coming from um, and kind of bridge the gap between you and I as far as like, hey, I have this background and this experience, but you don't, so you need to maybe focus on this section of studying before you feel like you could take the exam and successfully pass it. So first, let's go into what this exam is. So. This one is an associate course, so it's going to be a choose one out of three, and it's going to be 40 or 45 questions, depending on if you have five non-scored questions. I feel like to some degree, the name is a little disingenuous. So this exam is supposed to cover a lot of marketing, but I, well, I did find that it did cover a lot of marketing. It covered a lot of email marketing, and it was very heavy on email marketing. It doesn't dive too, deep into like the actual intricacies and the hiccups that you can find when it comes to using the tools in Marketing Cloud or Marketing Cloud Engagement or just in the marketing section of your basic generic mainstream Salesforce instances but it focused a lot on email marketing and what the different metrics are when it comes to email marketing. Again, marketing concepts, some of the keywords and key features that Salesforce Marketing Cloud Engagement has on their platform, a little bit of how to use it, but a lot of it was very vocabulary heavy and vocabulary focused. You really don't need to have any hands-on experience to be able to pass this. Um, I have one very big gripe with Salesforce about this exam. It covers a lot of marketing cloud engagement basics, which is formerly Pardot, which is a recent rebrand. And some rebrands I'm like, uh, but this one I'm like, yeah. Um, what I mean by that is that previous rebrands that they do like communities to experiences, that one I was like, I don't really understand why you would make that change. But going from Pardot to marketing cloud engagement, marketing cloud account engagement made a lot of sense because when you say Pardot, I have no idea what you're meaning and what you're trying to communicate with me. It sounds like Parrot. And unless you have a very in-depth knowledge of Salesforce, then you're not really gonna know what it is, um, which is not something that their sales team probably wants. And so, Switching that to marketing cloud engagement or marketing cloud uh, account engagement makes a lot of sense that you can say, oh, hey, I'm kind of interested in that product now. So I think that was a really good one. But back to my gripe is that Salesforce does not have a free developer org of Pardot. And I tried really hard to be able to jerry-rig anything that I could together. Um, I probably spent 20 to 30 hours trying to jerry-rig some type of org and I could get a little bit of like the basic outline of marketing cloud engagement for free in developer org but there was a lot of stuff missing and a lot of key features missing that like I don't really need to know how to send like you could give me errors sending but I would like to be able to use journeys and be able to put those together now journeys are very similar to other tools that you can find. And so you can go in and you can make a flow and just swap out the different elements that you find on flow with the different elements that you find on the journeys and you pretty much have the same thing. But I would really like it if Salesforce would give us some access to the tool so then we can practice, we can understand it, we can get the certifications and show to any potential employers that, hey, we would, we actually know what we're talking about when it comes to marketing cloud engagement and using these tools. And we're not going to be learning while we're on the job, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I know a lot of employers would also appreciate it if they weren't dealing with someone whose first time actually hands on with the tool is going to be when they're doing it for their real life job. But that's my gripe. But 
all in all, the exam is very vocabulary heavy. There's a lot of vocabulary that you should know and that will help give you context to it as far as different business terminologies and business and marketing vocabulary, things, terminologies, processes. So yeah. Let's jump into a little bit of my background when I took the exam. At the time of taking the exam, I was six times Salesforce certified. I had not worked on marketing cloud engagement at all. I had maybe done a couple of trails, maybe done a handful of trails. Well, when I took the exam, I had done the trail mix for it. But prior to that, I had only done a handful of them. But one thing that I actually did find pretty helpful on this exam is that I have my MBA or Master's of Business Administration. And so, what I found helpful is that I understood the business terminology a little bit better. I had a lot more knowledge. A lot of the terminologies have been ingrained into my brain because of my degree. Now, that doesn't mean that if you do not have this degree that you will not pass. If you have any business experience or if you have touched marketing in any way, helped with any marketing processes, um, this is fairly easy for you to pick up. One thing might be called another thing or a handful of things might be called something different on the exam, but pretty, pretty simple. So when it comes to resources for this exam, I took this exam pretty quickly after it was released from Salesforce as a new certification and when you could register for it. So there weren't a lot of resources. Really, the only resources I had available to me were the exam guide and the trial mix. Now, I did use a couple of additional resources to help me kind of expand upon those. So one thing is that I use Natural Reader, which is a Chrome plugin, and I've talked a lot about it here, but it's a free Chrome plugin where you are able to have it, have like a computer generated voice read the text to you on the page. And so I was able to do Trailhead and learning and do all those different modules while I was doing my dishes or I was folding laundry. And so it, made it a lot easier because I wasn't just sitting down and reading it. It also made it go by a lot faster. So that was a couple of resources that I used. Now, additionally, now that some time has passed between this exam is that we have a course that we are releasing, as well as I'm sure there are plenty of YouTube videos on it online that can help you to be able to understand the concepts and to be able to pass. The course that we have just released will hopefully help you pass on the first try. A lot of our certification courses help people to pass pretty quickly. We have a glossary of terms, which will help you, a full video lecture series, uh, notes from the trailhead, so we condense those topics and concepts from the trailhead into uh, a singular file, so then you're not wasting a lot of time on the trailhead fluff, as well as a full practice exam that will help mimic the actual exam. Most people find it's slightly harder than the actual exam, so if you're able to pass that, then you should be able to pass the actual exam. But I want to wrap this up with my final thoughts on the exam. I find that this one wasn't well balanced from a personal standpoint, and that Salesforce kind of gatekeeps on this. I don't mean to mean this as like a harping on Salesforce because this exam is so weird. Um, I'm sure that they had their reasons for it. But what I will say is that if you're able to understand marketing concepts, you're able to use context clues and understand the key terms, then you'll be fine on the exam. It is an associate exam, so it's not as difficult in nature as a full-length Salesforce exam. So it's like a choose one out of three questions. So if you're able to narrow it down to two answers, like you're able to knock one off that's like, obviously it's not that, then you have a 50-50 chance of getting it correct if you're able to, if you're able to do that. You can also use context clues for the different terminologies to be able to help you just outright pick the correct answer. Personally, I don't think that this exam is, and this certification is necessary for you to have a successful career within Salesforce. I think it's a nice, exam to show you that you have some knowledge in marketing cloud um, and in marketing concepts. And so it could be a good stepping stone into going into the different marketing cloud certifications that are full length, that are 60 questions, that go into the intricacies of marketing cloud. It is a good stepping stone, I will say that. But I would not put it on my list of like, these are the core certifications that you need to have a good start of a successful Salesforce career which for those, let me run through those because I'm sure I'll get comments, but it's going to be like the associate course, the general associate course, the admin certification, platform app builder, 
maybe advanced admin, and then going out from there, going to maybe a business analyst certification or going into sales and service cloud, and then seeing what your career takes and which certifications after those that your career kind of guides you to and what your hands-on Salesforce experience guides to. But I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out our courses either on Udemy Business, some of them, as well as all of our courses are on salesforceupscale.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.